This lady is lucky she didn't die. A Lodi school bus just inches away from being hit by a train. A student was on board that bus. And tonight, many of you have been telling us on Facebook that just a foot more, this would have been tragic. And there is no excuse why this bus got so close. So what happened here and what's supposed to happen? ABC 10's Van 2 joins us now live from Railroad Crossing at Sacramento Street and Lodi Avenue in Lodi tonight. Talk about a close call. The man who shot that video says he pulled up next to the bus in Lodi and knew immediately they were in danger. The railroad crossing arm was coming down on top of the school bus just before Justin Club hit record. Moments later, an oncoming train barrels through the intersection of Lodi Avenue and Sacramento Street, missing the bus by inches. Maybe half a foot. Easy. Club initially watched the driver open the bus door and look both ways, but grabbed his phone because he saw the bus driver pull forward even after crossing arms were activated. And then the arms, I think, were holding them from go from reversing all the way out of the intersection. Wow. Club counting his wow. lucky stars. So it would have took us both out. Yeah. There's no denying that. At the time, he says he prayed there were no children on board, but the Lodi Unified School District says there was one student on the bus and not harmed. His mother declined to comment. School officials issued a statement saying in part, we take all safety matters seriously and we want to assure you that this incident is being fully investigated by the district. Club says he would hate to see someone lose their job, but there has to be punishment and action taken when, when something like this happens, you know. By California law school bus drivers are required to stop at rail intersections giving themselves at least 15 feet of clearance for club it's clear that the bus driver was in violation of the law but at the top of his mind right now is making it home to his family it's scary you know i have kids you know i have my own business my wife depends on me to pay the bills you know Things like that are going through my head. Let's just be thankful we all got home safe. Meanwhile, school officials say the driver is on staff and not a substitute bus driver. And the school district employs 52 bus drivers, according to its website. And so far, it has not released the name of the bus driver. And I reached out to law enforcement to, to get more insight on this incident. The CHP told me that they will not even investigate something like this unless there was a crash. Crashes involving railroads in Lodi is rare.